Hey guys, this is Zach King, and I'm back with the Python series for showing you guys how to make your own advanced text editor. And uh, so yeah, so where we left off in the last video was basically you had, um, <clears throat> hopefully if you've been uh, keeping up, you've got your text editor and in line numbers column you've got all your menus up here and they all work so you can toggle your line numbers column you can uh, you can open save save as and close and all that good stuff so today I'm going to do the final step for the um, for the file menus pretty much now you may say well aren't we done with the file menus but that's where I'm going to introduce something that's a little bit advanced it's going to give you and um, any users of this text editor an extra sort of flavor so something that a lot of people take for granted the people that um some people are just completely unaware of this is the keyboard shortcuts and that's pretty much what I'm going to show you guys today how to make your own keyboard shortcuts for the um, for all the file for all the menu functions so basically we're going to create key events and bind them to the same uh, functions that we used for the file menus so we're going to need a couple things and before I do that I'd like to do one other thing to uh, first so first I want to write a function to you guys and this is going to do something that's completely um, aside from the keyboard shortcuts but let's create a function called update line column I'll abbreviate with call give it the self and e now we want to uh, do some so basically what I want to do is you see in sublime here it says line 174 column 13 I want to replicate that in my text editor. So I'm going to create a variable called line. Actually, let me zoom in. I don't think you guys have been able to see very well um, being so small. So line equals self dot control dot get current line plus one. Now, the reason I do plus one is because it's going to do it the same way um, lists are, are indexed starting with zero. It's basically going to do the same thing. So that's why I add the one. Now I'm going to create another one called call equals self dot control dot get column, not current, just get column. <clears throat> and then I want to pass in self dot control dot get current uh, POS for position and leave that blank. Now, this is because if you look at it, there's not really a super simple method the same way there is for get current line. We actually have to use get column, and we have to give it the current um, the current position of the uh, caret, so the little cursor position, you know, and then it's going to get the column based off of that. Now, I'm going to create a variable it's called stat for like statistic or something. And this is going to be the string that we see. So I'm going to use um, some, uh, some strings here, say line, and then percentage s for uh, for that. And then I'll say, oh, let me capitalize that. Column um, percent s, and then line column because we want the line first. Yeah. So now, after I do that, I'm going to say self dot status bar because if you remember, we created a status bar, and that's just what um, our class's status bar is called. It's just self dot status bar because you can only have one, I believe. So we're gonna call the uh, set status text method for it. We're gonna pass in stat com zero and uh, should work so now <clears throat> um, actually yeah we need to call that so basically the same way I was saying that we were going to do events to bind the keys uh, for keyboard shortcuts we also have to do that for the uh, binding of this event so I want to update this every single time I press a key and I believe yeah let's see we can go up here 
and oh man, I'm I'm trying to remember the uh, the event. There's so many events, so I'm actually I'm going to refer back to my original here, and um, yep. All right, so what we want to do is uh, bind to the event key up. So when we do our bindings, we want to say, let's see, self. We want to bind it to the actual control. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, whereas before we just did self dot bind, so that binds to the entire application. Here we want to bind to um, to the actual control. So this will only work in the control. So now I want to bind self dot update line column. Um, yeah, there we go. So uh, we'll do that. Now you'll notice I'm going to run this, and it's not going to sh it's not showing me down here at first. Now when I type, now it shows it. You may say, well, that's kind of weird. Now the reason is, is that method is never invoked um, when we first launch our application. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, um, yeah, we'll just say, we'll just call it down here. So right after we show it, we'll just say self dot update line column. Now when we run it, oops. Oh, oops. I need to pass in the self. There we go. So now when I first launch it, it says line one, column zero, which is what we want. So we'll do that. You can see I'm typing. It's changing along with it. And that works. So cool. Now we can actually move on to the, uh, the keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to need a couple new functions. Um, I'm just going to start back here at the end. The first one, we're going to do an on char event function. That's what I'm going to call it at least. And once again, you'll have the self and E parameters. Now, we need to grab the key code for the event. So, I'm going to just uh, say e.getKey code because that's the uh, method you can have for this. Now, I'm going to be binding this event as well. So, that's how I know that this event is going to be a key press. Event. So now, um, but I'll worry about binding it in a second. So create a few variables. Um, actually, hmm, we don't we don't need the uh, these. You can simplify this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, uh, and actually right here, this is something that I did. If you want to create your own, you can always do a print key code here press your your shortcut that you want and you can see it printed out then just write it down or something or remember it and then you can use that key code and then just comment that out so that's something that you can do but uh, basically I've already got these here so if the key code is equal to 14 then this is like pressing control in which I'll put that <clears throat> And now we will do self dot on new and pass in self parameter. Else if key code is equal to 15, which is like pressing control O on open self. You get the you get the point. So basically, we're doing these for every um, for every menu item. So, if key code is equal to 19, which is control S, self dot save self. Else if key code is equal to, um, actually, yeah, I am going to need, I'm going to need one more variable. So, you can actually tell if the alt shift keys and stuff like that are down by doing uh, so e dot alt down uh, like that and that's basically just going to be boolean so if alt down and q 
key code. I'll do some parentheses to maybe make it more readable. I don't know. This is going to be like pressing Alt S, which is a shortcut I'm going to use for a uh, save as. Alright. Now I'll do else if. Uh, key code is equal to let's see 23 and that's gonna be like pressing control W oops which is pretty much like the um, close shortcut for most Windows applications so that's why I'm using that now if you're on a Mac or OS X then you would probably be doing control Q or command Q I mean and uh, so yeah that would work too now do one for uh, let's see we can do select all we don't have to do all the um, edit ones because they're built in already since it's a text control and um, so yeah we don't have to worry about those now if we say key code is one this is control a Actually, I believe that one, that one already works as well. See, I don't have to do that. Um, yeah, we'll do this one. So 340. This is going to be like pressing F1. Keep my comment system right. So this one, I'm going to make this show the how-to. And then I'll do another one for uh, F2. So that's just going to be 341. And this one, I'm going to make it show the about. So, and then you have to do it else. And this one is special. You'll do e dot skip. So basically, this says if the uh, key code for the key that's pressed doesn't match any of these, then call this skip event. Now, what this does is it says. Uh, that pretty much think of this this line here as the program checking for any uh, built-in shortcuts to your operating system so like if you uh, if you don't include this it's pretty much going to break your text editor you won't break it but actually I, I don't even think you'll be able to type if we take that out so actually we can I can show you guys um, so there's that and then we need to bind it so I'm gonna go up here do that and um, I want to say this was a event key up as well but I don't want to be uh, wrong so let's see is an event char so I'm glad I checked alright so control dot bind wigs dot um, Actually, it was, yeah, char. So this is a, ch a character event, and we want to do uh, call our function. So on char event. Now I've commented that um, I've commented that one piece out. So, oh, well, now it's thinking that's blank. So let me put pass there. So now whenever I try this. I'm typing but it's not giving me anything now I actually you may not have even noticed it there but I didn't go to file close and I didn't click the X what I did to close the application was I pressed control W so anyway that was that just shows that that one works now I'll save this build it ta da you can type so um, yes yeah, so let's see control O and it calls our own open function. You know, open that one. Now I'm going to press Alt S. Should do save as. Yes, so save as. This mine's running a little slow right now, maybe because I'm recording. But it shows all of these should work. And if not, it shouldn't be too hard to find the key code for what you're looking for. Now I want to do, um, this is basically all your shortcuts for, for this one. And I pretty much finished up this video, but I would, uh, let me just delete this.
and um, actually I think I'll cut it off right here but I'll, I'd like to tell you guys that in my next video I'm gonna actually be starting the syntax highlighting so please 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 look forward to that and it's going to be rather long because syntax highlighting um, there's gonna be probably two parts for the regular syntax highlighting and then I'm thinking about making a third one so that you can customize your uh, colors more easily and um, so yeah that should be pretty cool so yeah thank you guys for watching and I've really enjoyed this series so far and thank you guys for all the awesome feedback I know I'm actually just hitting 100 subscribers which is like a pebble compared to the milestones of others but it means a lot to me it shows me you guys actually legitimately care for uh, these projects and uh, thank you guys so much for all that so if you would give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching